What's going down, my pause owners? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Kingdom Hearts. Uh, what's this game called? Oh, uh, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 1. And today, we're going to be going back all the way to Traverse Town, but we got to go all the freaking way around because, of course, we did. Um, this is another post commentary episode, so not like last episode, which at this point of recording, I actually have not edited yet. And, uh, you know, I, I know why. You, you guys should probably know why I had to do post commentary for the last episode, but don't worry. Hopefully, that will not happen again uh, in this recording. Hopefully, I already talked about, you know, what I wanted to talk about in the other episodes. But uh, with that being said, uh, this is another live commentary episode like the rest of this Let's Play will be. Uh, unfortunately, there will be no webcam today because uh, I'm not really feeling that good actually today. I'm actually kind of sick. I mean, I'm not that sick, but I'm kind of weaning off of a, of a sickness right now. So it's probably not the best time to. Why did that not? I I I I, pour, I did. I shot through that rock in one of the earlier episodes. How did I not do that that time? But um, yeah, I'm not really feeling all that well and. It's like kind of weaning off, but, you know, I decided to come back here and just, you know, play Kingdom Hearts again. Because uh, one thing about recording and doing the Let's Plays is that it, I usually play this like any other old game, right? Like sometimes I might take extra precaution in terms of, uh, you know, just, just, you know, doing what I got to do for the Let's Play. But for the most part, I'm just playing this game like how I would normally play it. But the thing about it is, is that... When I normally play games, I usually get disinterested uh, disinterested of games really easily. I don't think this would have happened for this game, but it could have. And I'm not trying to let that happen, because if that happened, then you guys would never see this Let's Play ever, ever again. Because I, I do that. I don't know why. <coughs> it's probably my ADHD. But uh, yeah, for, with that being said, I haven't played this game in about, about two or three days. A lot of stuff going on in my life. Uh, so, of course, I, I just wasn't able to do Let's Plays, or play games in general. In fact, the only thing I've been doing recently is playing VR chat, but uh, that's neither here nor there. I don't know if I should even, even like, do VR chat videos. You know, I, I just realized one of the cannons is, like, off-center. I think I already probably mentioned that, but, like, it's just kind of weird looking at it. But as you notice, we had to go all the way from jungle, from the... Uh, oh fuck man I forgot what it was called for a second we had to go all the way from deep jungle then we had to go here now we got to go back to Traverse Town and I think I think when we go to Traverse Town this time we're actually gonna get something that's gonna help out with that so uh, cross your fingers because I actually kind of forgot I think it is I'm actually 90% sure on that to be honest but just just let it be known that this probably won't be too much of a thing after this episode. We'll actually probably be better off with just going to a place once. You guys probably already know what I'm talking about. But anyway. Yeah, just playing more Kingdom Hearts again. Still love this. I, I have to get me shipped though. My god. Still kind of boring. Still will probably always be boring. But uh, also, I'm going to be blowing my nose. and th This is literally how boring. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold up, literally saying about to talk shit about this, and then I realized, fucking rocks. Yes, uh, if you don't actually shoot and you ram into things in this section, you will take a lot of damage, and a lot of subsequent damage, because there's no, like, invincibility frames in this, so when you get hit by something, and there's, like, something immediately behind it, then you'll get hit by that, too. And usually, with collections of rings like this, you can be easily killed by those rings. It's, it's kind of stupid. But uh, that's just how it kind of works <clears throat> in this game. <laughs> Which is why I just blew my nose just now. I'm sorry for any of you <laughs> who does apparently does not like uh, hearing that. Also, I don't know if this is obvious enough, but those ships that we're actually going after, they're heartless ships. I don't know if that's obvious to anyone, but should be because of the, uh, the counter on the right. Which, I probably already mentioned, but you can also toggle with R2. So you can have a almost hud view of the gummy ship levels. But um, I actually, I like this second visit of Traverse Town. Uh, I, I like Traverse Town, Town in general. Like, this is one of my favorite worlds in the game, but 
I love this second visit because there's a lot of things that kind of like open up to us uh, in this game. So, yeah, I was just straight up just going to go back to Traverse Town. We're back in this awesome place. And because we have the Red Trinity, I'm pretty sure we can. Oh, and because we have Blizzard now, we can also do this, uh, which I think I've already done wrong, but, you know, we're going to see. Oh, never mind. Yeah, if we didn't do that, which. I don't know if I've already mentioned this. We couldn't actually get there. Uh, we couldn't actually get that before, but now we can. And uh, have I gotten any postcards yet? Oh, I did. I got a cottage. Yeah, remember, whenever you get like postcards in this game, I think you can get 10. Yeah, send 10 postcards. You want to put it in this thing. You get little little special itty-bitty items. It's, it's kind of cool. Leon's probably at the end of Grand Carver. He's trains there often. You know, the channel in the other way is connected to the tavern. Yeah, I know that place. I don't. Anyway. No. <laughs> uh, also, when it comes to getting stuff like this, because I think this is the first thing that we get, you get, I think, magic ups, attack ups, and defense ups. You always want to give that to Sora because, I mean, let's be honest, guys. Donald and Goofy can fend for themselves. They, they can revive anyway. It's not like they're... It's not like Sora can't get the job done. I mean, they're valuable party members, but, you know... And obviously, this is uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie from DuckTales. Not the one, the newer one, but the one that we have now, which I actually haven't watched that much of. Uh, but I think because of the fact that, that I just got a new Keyblade, which I should equip actually after this, I'm going to give Don and Goofy some, and I'm going to get me a whole lot of uh, potions because if you know me, okay, in any game that I play, in any RPG game, I'm always stocking up on uh on uh freaking uh what you call that stuff uh potions because i don't know i'm a whore when it comes to potions i i am not safe with myself when i don't have them and i i just can't you know you're never going to convince me that i have too much potions or whatever because that is not that's not possible but anyway we're gonna equip probably uh donald with uh, some protector change and uh you know what I'm not sure what abilities they have. Donald has Berserk and Haste, so maybe he could do be a benefit with some more. Yeah, he could. I think Donald and Goofy could probably have some, some of that uh, good old what do you call that thing? What is it? Uh, ability stud, I guess. But I'd probably give that to Donald more. I mean, to Goofy more. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you honestly want to be, like, kind of careful with, like, how you, like, get, give, like, your party members items. Because, like, it can really affect a lot of things in this game. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to, like, be, you know, not, not well equipped. But anyway, this is technically our first Keyblade that we've gotten so far. I think we can get other Keyblades before this. But right now, we only have the Jungle King, which is actually a pretty decent Keyblade. Uh, actually, what I should probably mention right now is that... If you notice, the Jungle King, King is actually a little bit longer than the Kingdom Key, and that's really interesting because uh, I don't know why I didn't know this when I first played this, but your reach is actually extended with certain Keyblades. I didn't think that that was the case, but it is. So, of course, this Keyblade is actually a lot longer than, uh, than the other Keyblades, or at least the Kingdom Key. I was about to say Kingdom Key D, but this is not a Kingdom Key D. This is just a regular Kingdom Key, but... Um, yeah. Also, because we have the Red Trinity, we can use stuff like this now, which I think goes right to the third district. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, we can go to the alleyway right now. Uh, and we probably are just going to do that, but we're also going to go see the Dalmatians first. There's actually a couple of things that you can do, uh, in this section. I don't think we can go in there yet. I forgot how it goes. But, um, yeah, there's actually a couple of things to do in, in Traverse Town. In fact, I need to check the, the shop, actually, to see if there's anything in here. Because at a, certain point, at a certain point in this game, you can actually go up here. But I honestly forget when you go up there. Oh, you can synthesize items like this one on our second floor, Koopo. Wow, crystal. Yeah, but we can't go there yet, though, for some reason. I don't know why. I forgot when you get to go there, but you get to go there later in the game. So, whatever. So we're gonna go on ahead and go to the. Ooh, what is that? I forgot. What is that again? I don't know. I think you get random ass. Oh, you get a postcard. Nice. 
sometimes uh you want to check that little file bin or whatever it is because you get random things from there i don't think it's always postcards but i just got one so i'm gonna cash this in baby we just got a milk throw shard is that enough synthesis items for you you freaking shop or whatever the fuck anyway it's nice to be back in traverse town though and oh i thought there was gonna be heartless Oh, but then that does make sense. We haven't sealed the keyhole yet. I just remembered. Oh, wait, did we get any other abilities for Sora? Sora, or whatever the fuck I just called him. <laughs> no, we didn't. Okay. Because I thought we got the high jump or something. And you're probably wondering, what the hell do you mean by you didn't seal the keyhole? What is What significance does that make? Well, if I haven't explained it yet, and uh, I'm going to be redundant if I have, um, before you seal a keyhole in the world, Heartless will constantly respawn in the worlds that you have gone to. So, if we go back to Deep Jungle right now, 9 times out of 10, there will, no be, there will be no Heartless that spawn there. Unless it's like special Heartless, but I'm not too sure about that. Also, for the fat Heartless, it's actually better to tech the, uh, the attacks from those guys. Uh, there is a guard move that you can actually get later in the game that is better for like guarding and stuff like well not better but you can also use but uh for the most part it's actually better to just tech or, or to just parry attacks in this game i should i should say that instead of tech when you parry attacks in this game you actually have a i think you have a frame advantage in this game or something like that and it's actually better to uh fuck man i forgot he's it's actually usually better to parry attacks in this game because of, well, obvious reasons. But we gotta get fucking rid of these damn guys. I mean, it's fucking annoying. Alright, gotta kill this guy. Oh, and he's stupid. I don't know why they immediately get stupid after they, they just can't hit you. Like, I don't know how that makes sense. And I just forgot. I got fucking... I got Cure, which I can't use now. I don't know if this is like the same thing in the other Kingdom Hearts games, but I don't I don't think it is because of MP recharge, which we'll see later in this series. Um But the whole idea of fuck me. Damn! Fucking shit, dude. Oh my god, I hate little fucking moments like that. Ugh. Like, we need Leaf Brazer at this point. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. I, I, I really just wanna, like, show this off. I can level up on a, on another on my other time. I just kinda wanted to, to show off. That That's the thing about doing Let's Plays. You gotta keep... You gotta... You, you can't be, like, too redundant or whatever. At least in my opinion. But yeah, we got a lot of Dalmatians, I think. Or a good size portion of them. And when you get a lot of Dalmatians, you don't even have to get all of, all of them, but when you do get a lot of them, the Dalmatians are just such good dogs that they decide to give you a little present for all your troubles. Isn't that sweet? I love these dogs. So we got a Kyarga G, Pryarga G, and it's just a whole lot of gummy stuff. Guys, I love you, but why? Why, why gummy stuff? Well, like I was saying before, when you get the Dalmatians, you can actually see them, like, you know, posted up around the, the rooms and stuff like that so yeah we do have a, a good portion of them i think we have uh dalmatians in like every room i guess now yeah maybe even in the den yeah in the den too it's kind of weird that the dalmatians house is in traverse town i haven't seen 101 dalmatians in years i don't even know if i've ever seen that movie at all to be honest but it's kind of weird that like you know it's just you know, just randomly post it up here, you know? But yeah. God, I, I love this camera. This camera is so juicy. Oh, I should have uh, went back to the first Travis Town and went through that alleyway. I think this is the alleyway anyway. You know, I should get fucking Thunder again. Thunder's fucking awesome. Oh wait, they're immune to Thunder. No wonder I didn't. 
get it. I was thinking immediately. Ooh, a frost shard. Oh god, I can't believe I'm actually gonna be able to. I, I gotta do the fucking synthesis stuff. I don't have to, but I'm gonna do it, damn it, because I love this game, and for some reason I like to do stuff that I don't really feel like doing. Getting, um, I should kind of, I guess, explain that just because I have the time, I guess. Um, there are certain things. Synthesis, synthesizing, like, items in this game is a big part of what this game's about. I'm just fucking straight up fighting these guys again. But, uh, synthesizing items is, like, a big part of this game. And one of the items that you actually can synthesize in this game is the ultimate weapon. And the ultimate weapon is the strongest keyblade, or should I really say keychain in this game. And it's, 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 it's such a fucking awesome, it is hands down the best keychain key, or keyblade in this game. The problem with that is, is that getting it all the synthesis items and doing everything that you gotta do to get it, is kind of a chore so it's not usually something that some people would say like they would do on a regular playthrough but because i love this game because it's a let's play i'm gonna do it and where do i go again i forgot where's the red thing at oh yes it's right here so i'm gonna fucking do it because again i love this game a lot and oh well, i wouldn't be able to go past this anywhere shit it's crazy that Sora can jump pretty high, but he can't grab onto those boxes for some reason. I guess he weighed way too much, but it doesn't look like he would. Anyway. So, the reason why, like, I'm kind of, like, going crazy sometimes. You might see me go crazy in this Let's Play over, like, synthesis items and stuff like that is because uh, I'm primarily just, like, I got to look out for this stuff, man. Like, I'm not trying to... It's going to be crazy to get in this stuff. And I wonder if that did it. Oh, that didn't do a goddamn thing. I just realized. Because they're thunder fucking guys. Hey, what's up, bitch? Oh, I wasn't even aiming at the right enemy. God, I swear to you, I hate fat body heartless, though. They are super annoying. They are definitely the worst enemy in this game. It's not even because they're that challenging, like, at all. They are just annoying to me. I, I don't like them. Oh, the vacant house. I'm pretty sure our Final Fantasy members are... Oh, no, they're not here yet. I... Did I spoil that? I don't know. I think, I, I don't know if this completely applies, so take what I'm about to say with like a grain of salt. Oh, you know what? Uh, before I say that, I just remembered. Because this is final mix, a lot of the enemies in this game are actually, they, they look a lot different than what they did in the retail, like original game, right? So all these orange like in these orange and brown heartless that you see, they are originally looked like those. They usually wore like purple and like black outfits. Like these guys, a lot of them look like this. But they changed it for Final Mix because, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's something I think I don't think people really remember too much because you can't. There's no like real real way to like toggle it or anything like that. It's not like it's tied to anything significant in this game. It's just sort of something that kind of, uh, I think I used under there. It's just kind of something that, you know, was a thing that no one really remembers that much anymore. And also, because we just did that, we now have an easy way to get to the first district, so that's cool. I think these Heartless did look the same, though. I'm pretty sure they did. This is only something that you can only say that if you played the original game. And unless you have a PlayStation 2... Honestly, I, or like a backwards compatible PlayStation 3, I don't see why you would play the original game at this point. Don't get me wrong, I think if I had a PlayStation 2, which I do, but I need a new one, honestly, because I want a fat one. I want a fat PlayStation 2. I'm just about that fat life. Anyway, um, mm, should we go here? I think we should. Yeah, this is the mystical house. Ooh, it looks kind of spooky, though. 
I never looked at it like this. I mean, maybe it's because of the camera, but like the camera's making it look crazy big and mysterious. Just all around cool. Anyway, this is pretty um it's a pretty cool place, but you can only enter like right here. I think you can I think you can come to this place um when you first visit here, but I didn't, and I guess I'm just doing here to show it off because there's really nothing here to really write home about unless we get to unless we found some pages. I don't know if we did though. There's something about this musty place. What? It's fucking musty? Fucking put on some deodorant or some shit. I'm just saying. <laughs> A lot of names today. It's kind of weird that that cutscene is like we only we only know about it now. You're rough sooner than expected. Whoa, man! What's up? Whoa! You knew where we you knew where we were coming? Of course. Are you a heartless? He doesn't look like one. He'd probably be attacking you or something right now. Okay. Oh my, no. My name is Merlin. As you can see, I'm a sorcerer, and I'm from... I'm from... What is Merlin from? Is he from Fantasia? I don't know. I spend much of my time traveling. It's good to be home. Your king has requested my help. My phone, King Mickey? Yes, indeed. Donald Goofy, and who might you be, young man? I'm Sora. Ah, so you found the key. What did the king ask you to do? Just a moment. Let me put my stuff down. Presto! And then things just happen. And dance. <laughs> this is so goofy. <laughs> what fun. And it transformed into a little... Well, whatever this is. There now. <clears throat> Your king has asked me to train you in the art of magic. I'm just randomly doing this. We can start anytime you like. Sonny, let me know when you're ready to start. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? You want to tell me one more thing? Just one more. It's the fairy godmother. Oh, hello, I'm the fairy godmother. I'm British. Your king asked me to help too. I will assist throughout your journey. I do not know how much I could be of help, but do stop by any time. Yeah. Okay, Gramps. I'm gonna stop by any time. All right. No, I'm never gonna stop by ever again. Oh, we haven't gotten the book yet. There's a special book that we can get in this game. It's cool. I think. Where does this appear too? Oh, we, we won't see that world for a while. There's a trinity here. I, I I've always noticed that, right? I, I don't know. Is that the first time I've ever seen a trinity? That's a weird trinity. Anyway. So, honestly, there isn't too much going on in this place. I mean, there will be once we get a page of something... But uh, it's, it's 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 just it's just whatever, you know. Honestly, at this point, honestly, this place is just where we can use our magic freely, and just like practice just using magic without any like repercussion because our magic will just keep refilling for some weird reason. I'm just gonna like keep doing it until like I'm done. And when you're done, you just go over here and you cancel and you just. Talk to him and go back. I thought I thought there would be something happening here, but I guess not. Well, bye. There's really nothing else to do here. I th maybe maybe you this isn't accessible your first time. I don't know. Maybe it is. Because I think when we go back here, there will be a cutscene. Dig it, I forgot. 
I honest to God forgot. I don't know what happened here. Uh, then again, we're actually supposed to go to the alley. I just remembered. Oh my God, we just been lollygagging in Travis Town because I like this place and I forgot. Damn, that was nice. God, you know, I, I just like sometimes I, I I I look at this game, you know, it's like. What a pleasure that this game plays like this, you know what I'm saying? It's just such a satisfying game to play. And I, honestly, I play this game to chill, you know? Even though Kingdom Hearts can be kind of hard, like, I, I play this game to chill sometimes. It's like the combat just feels so great and satisfying. The weight is just all there, and I... Ah, this is so awesome. Now, uh, let me see something. Uh... Yeah, we could just... Actually, no, let's go back to the... Let's not go that way. I don't feel like fighting you guys. That'd be kind of stupid at this point. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Now, where's the alleyway again? Oh, yeah. I think it's down here. There we go. I still don't know why, like, this is the one game in the series that doesn't have, like, a mini-map. It's kind of weird looking back now. Like, I just thought about that, too. Like, this doesn't... And, of course, we can't use it because you guys are in a battle. Awesome! I guess you guys need the Keyblade Master's help. But I love it, honestly, ironically, that he calls himself a Keyblade Master, and this game then later calls him... No, you are not a Keyblade Master. That's weird how this mod can, like, let you use treasure chests, but they don't allow you to use... Oh, this is another way into Merlin's place. Also, what the hell are you guys doing down here? This place is so mysterious. No way. So you found the Keyblade. Yeah. The Keyblade locked it automatically. Good. Every world among the stars is a keyhole, and each one leads out to the heart of that world. There must be one in this town as well. What do you mean? It was an answer's report. The heartless sentry through the keyhole and do something to the whole world's core. What happens to the world? In the end, it disappears. What? No way, Jose. <laughs> That's why your key is so important. Please lock the keyholes. You're the only one who can. I don't know. Seeing other worlds would probably serve you as well. Yeah. We gotta find your friends and the King Mickey. I guess you're right. Okay. Hey, Leon. This gummy block's different from the others. Do you know what it's for? Ask Sid. He should know. Why would he know about this? Earthshine. This stone holds some mysterious power. I've been carrying for love. I want you to hold on to it. How do you use it? Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Leon. And again, he didn't know what the hell to do with it either. So, I mean, it's not like that's his fault. And also, I kind of just realized I just fucked up because, uh... Ha! <laughs> ah! I didn't realize that. You could just go down there and then you could get to Merlin's study. And then you go out of here and then, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, we're going to go talk to Sid and... Something totally not awesome is going to happen when we go back to you know, Traverse Town. <clears throat> Actually, I think I could have just swam. Because the thing about this weird thing is, is that if you fall into the water here, you actually can't, like, jump up and go to, like, the, the other side, like, swim. You gotta, like, you actually have to go on the platforms. But for this, I'm pretty sure you don't have to use the platforms. I, I'm pretty sure I... Kingdom Hearts platforming is weird, okay? I'm just, just saying. Huh. I thought something would happen. Well, never mind. I guess dude just does not want to appear, I guess. Oh my god, I was gonna die. 
But I didn't though. Oh. I just want you guys to know this is the sound of demons. Just like <laughs> just letting you guys know. Okay? What you got there? Hey! Well if it ain't a gummy block. Yep. <laughs> yep. What's this one for? You're kidding me. You're flying a gummy ship, you don't know nothing about navigation gummies? Much pen ads. Inner space ain't no playground. Well, if you could explain, kind sir, and stop being an asshole, I would love that. There's a lot we don't know. So what? Yeah, see, I tell, tell him, Sora. You have to use a gummy ship to go to the other worlds. We don't have a choice. Whoa, easy. I didn't know. No hard feelings, all right? Well, I guess I could lend you all a hand then. Thanks. Asshole. Basically, with navigation gummies, you can go to new places. You want on, you want on your ship, right? No. I'm going to install it for you. But I got this thing I got to go deliver first. What do you need to deliver? Just this book. It's real old. When the guy brought it in, it was practically falling apart. Too beat up to restore it the way it was. But overall, I did a decent job putting it back together. Anyway, you mind delivering it for me? It's the old house past the 3rd District. Look for a big fire sign. Wow, that would have been nice to know before. What was that? Hmm, the bell at the gizmo shop is ringing. Go check it out if you want, but deliver that book for me first. When you're done, stop by the house <laughs> in the 3rd District or something like that. I don't know what he said after that, but I'm going to save the game because, you know what I'm saying, I just feel like saving the game, not the save file. But, you know, I think, at the, you know, actually, I think at this point, I'm already past this. And he was, damn, I'm level 16 and he was playing it longer. Oh, like a couple minutes longer, but. And also, apparently, I was broke. <laughs> broke as fuck, dog. Anyway. I don't really care about getting, like, the, the rings that reduce, like, damage like this. Unless it's, like, a boss that I'm, like, at. And I'm, like, oh, damn, I need, like, thunder resistance or whatever. Because the boss has a lot of thunder attacks or whatever. I don't really do that unless that's, like, the case. Because uh, if, it's, if it's other than that, I don't really care about getting those those rings or whatever. I just don't think it's worth it. I like overall, like, items and equipment that you can get that, like, you know, raise your overall stats. That makes more sense to me. I don't feel like going here. I'm going to the gizmo shop. Because I said so. I know he said, he, he said, yeah, go to the, um, go deliver the book first. Which is the book that I was talking about that we actually have to get from Merlin. But, like... I don't care. I'm doing my own thing. I want to go see the sights. This game is awesome. I like exploring. It's really nice playing this game again, though. Every time I come here, it's usually like some big ass brawl or whatever. That seems to be the case here. I hope that there's a little bit more substantial stuff going on here, though. Ooh, max AP went up. I mean, that doesn't really mean too much for me, except... Oh, I, I, I don't know. If you have never played RPGs before, this probably doesn't... This probably is the only time it needs to be said, because I'm pretty sure everybody knows this at this point. But when you level up and the game tells you that you leveled up in a specific area, it's not saying, like, you didn't level up in any other area. You actually did. So if I... Oh my fucking gosh, man. Are you fucking serious? I hate little cheap little deaths like that, man. Like, down on the goofy, don't know how to do shit. Anyway, you are leveling up in other fields. You're just not leveling up as much. I probably should have did a little example, though. Actually, you know, I'll do a little example. Okay. So, as you can see right now, I have 20 strength, 12 defense, and uh, 36, 34. That, those numbers should go up after I am done with this place, and... The fuck? Where did everybody go? And also, these things work now. I don't know if they worked before. I love this little shop, though. It's so funny. 
Oh, wait. I think that just basically put this ladder down. Which, uh... I don't think we can do too much with yet. Oh, wait. Should level up again, though. In a bit. Thanks, Donald. God, he healed so good there. I gotta give him points for that or something. Alright, let's open this. Which goes... Okay, we'll have to do that later. We actually don't have to mess with that yet. But we will later. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Nope. Fuck this. I'm, I'm blizzarding the shit. I'm thundering the shit out, y'all. I'm not trusting of this game's platforming physics. So I'm, I'm just not gonna. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna get. Ooh, is that a chest? Hold up! No! Awesome. Thank you guys for fighting my battle. You are definitely the apprentices of a Keyblade. What? Alright, so. Oh, did I just lie to you guys? Did I just lie? Huh. I think I might have lied to you guys. I don't think your your levels, your other levels go up anyway. Okay, maybe I lied. I'm sorry. I definitely lied. Uh, where are we? What are we doing right now anyway? Oh. This is definitely an entrance. Wow. Look at all these amazing guys. They're so swell. All right, I'm going. All right, so if it wasn't obvious enough, um, this is something I'm not. Oh, that's nice. This is not something that I'm particularly looking forward to, but uh, <laughs> um, <coughs> so the book that we have actually does have some significance because. It contains a story, and the story of itself is, uh, so Santa asked me to bring this. Thank you. You wish to know what kind of book this is? I don't even know myself. In fact, it's not mine. Somehow it found its way into my bag one day. It's such a curious book, I asked Santa to repair it for me. Well, I guess I'll put it here somewhere for now. This book holds a great secret. The missing pages will unlock it. I'll leave the book over there. Do look at it whenever you like. My best regard to Sid for repairing it for me. Oh, and about that stone of yours. You should ask the fairy godmother about that. Do you know what this is? Oh, the poor thing. I don't know why she came from Southern. I thought she was British. He has turned into a summon gem. A summon gem? This little creature lived in a world that was consumed by darkness. When the world vanishes, so do its inhabitants. But this one had such a strong heart. He had a he became a gem instead of vanishing with his world. That's a thing now, I just realized. Can he regain himself? Yes, but only his spirit. Now, watch. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Learn summon spell Simba. To summon magic, you need three party members in battle. Wow. Each summon spell can only be used once per battle. Be careful, you cannot use summon spake magic while your any party member is KO'd. Summon magic characters withdraw from battle once they've run out of MP. You can also select the dismiss command to dismiss them. More info on each summon character is available in Gemini's journal. Whenever you call, he will help you. If you bring any more of these, bring them to me. Don't worry, when their roles are restored, when they return there. Sora, please help them save. Don't worry, I will, and you probably have dyslexia in vocal sense. I don't know. 
But yes, uh, now I think, well, not I think, but we ha we now have, you best go see Sid before going, okay, I'm not going anywhere, Grandpa. Okay, I'm going to just refill my health and magic. Anyway, uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, so we now have a summons in this game. We now have a summons in this game. We now have summons in this game, and basically, they when you, there's a, it's an ability where you can call upon certain Disney characters where uh, you can help you in battle. For right now, we have Simba from The Lion King, and I can't believe he started as a summon, but like, yeah, it, summons are pretty good in this game, but I really only use them for bosses. Sora, please help everyone. I don't know why I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. This is like his room. I was wondering, like, where was his bed at? And it's right there. But now it's time to get into technically a another world this is not just some book oh no this is we need the poo and i'm not even lying this is a straight up a we need a poo book which i can't believe now is under open license and I, I just can't believe that other people have like, you know like that one thing that people say, and i like how like now it says hit instead of attack but like you know how like when people try to make things edgier they just say hey let's um let's make everything a lot of like blood and drugs and drinking and stuff like that that's how like the fucking winnie the pooh horror movie was like i i did not watch that because i don't know why i would give my money to something i don't like but uh yeah i'm i'm fine with disney winnie the pooh you don't fucking do that to winnie the pooh man like this is this is supposed to be wholesome, dude. Hi there. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'm just thinking. Oh. I was thinking of how to say goodbye to Pooh. Pooh? Yes. Wait a second. You're Pooh? Yes, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Pooh for short. Who are you? I'm Sora. Oh. Hello, Sora. Have you come to say goodbye to Pooh, too? Well, no. Why would I do that? We've only just met. Because everyone's gone away. What do you mean? Well, we all left here in the Hundred Acre Wood. And we'd take walks together. Or play Pooh sticks. And every day, I'd eat some honey. Oh, just one small smackerel would taste very good right now. <laughs> Smack a room. But now, everyone is gone. All my friends, and my favorite honey tree, too. Uh -huh. Everyone must have gone away while I was napping, I think. So, who knows? Maybe I shall end up going away somewhere as well. But I wonder, how do I say goodbye to myself? Think, think, think. Oh, my tumbly is getting rather rumbly. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Hundred Acre Wood. Now, I know what you guys might think, be thinking. This is boring. But, <laughs> like, no, I actually like this world. Like, every time I'm thinking about, like, like this world sometimes you know i'm just like every time i think about it it's like i don't know like every, like i come here you don't really fight much here but i don't know i i i kind of grew up with winnie the pooh i have a a tremendous soft spot for this world i, I think it's kind of nice to come here after fighting and stuff like that and spend time with pooh bear i'm sorry i just I just love Winnie the Pooh, man. Uh, but the problem is with this world is that uh, Pooh's friends are gone. And the reason why that is is because you have to get all the pages in this game. So not only do you have to get all the 100 Dalmatians, but you also have to get the Pooh Bear. You have to get the freaking pages. You got to freaking get the synthesis items. You got to get, oh my god, you got to get all that freaking lot of stuff. If only the honey tree would visit, oh, then I could eat my fill. 
Yeah. Huh. What can we do about that, Pooh? Maybe there's something in here. Like, I sent this as I... Oh, well, no, I guess not. It's just an elixir. But that's still cool. Or well, we could open a window. For absolutely no reason. Uh. Wait a minute. Aren't we at a tree, though? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Let me guess. You like to know what happens next. Get used to this. Unfortunately, some of the pages are missing, so I can't tell you yet. The pages are scattered across many worlds. Would you like to find them for this? Yes. Because I think, honestly... I think Kingdom Hearts 1 might have the best we need to prove world. 100 Acre Wood. Uh, yes, that does mean that this world does come back in other Kingdom Hearts games. But I think this one has the best one. Because I think it's probably the most sincere. But who knows... We're going through all the Kingdom Hearts games, so who knows, maybe if I'll, I might I might have a change of heart to that or something. I'm just saving. Accessory shop. What are we doing? Oh. I'm officially further in the game than the other save file, which I still have not played on that much. Originally, I was actually... Um, I don't know if I've explained this yet, but... Originally, I was streaming this game... And uh, in the middle of me streaming it, I was like, huh, I just realized I need like raw recording footage. Fuck. Okay, so then I decided to come back and say, fuck it, let me just record it for our let's play. Wait a minute, I, that's not the keyblade I have. There you are. What's going on? Whatever. Riku. It's fucking Riku. And he hey, has a polygon face, a high poly face. Time. Right? I hope not. Took forever to find you. There, Flick. Riku! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait a second, where's Kairi? Isn't she with you? Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island, too. We're finally free. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I like how he's doing the pose. Leave the three-hit combo <laughs> pose. Sora, uh, what did you... I've been looking for you, and Kairi too, with their help. Who are they? We visited so many places and worlds looking for you. Really? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. Oh, and guess what? Sora's the Keyblade Master. Yeah. Who would have thought it? I know. What's that mean? So, this that is wasn't called a, a Keyblade? Huh? Hey, give it back. <laughs> what the fuck? Catch. Whoa. Okay. So you're coming with us, right? We've got this awesome rocket. Wait till you see it. No, he can't <coughs> come. What? Forget it. Oh, come on. He's my friend. I don't care. Damn. Oh, he's gone. Riku? Look at you, Donald. He's nice going. Yeah, seriously. Oh, well. At least he's okay. Yeah, but now Who you're knows? making him feel unwelcome. Maybe we'll run into Kyrie soon too. We can like th that's one thing I hate doing, like making people feel unwelcome. That's like maybe he couldn't come with us, right? But like, isn't there a better way to like make make it seem that you just can't come or so? Like, I don't know, man. You're so mean. What the fuck? Oh. And now, for the rest of the game, it's not going to be Sin in the accessory shop. Now it's going to be some random fuck. Alright, so like... <laughs> there's really no reason to come here anymore. Actually, there is. Uh, there... I just realized something. Hey! You're shift! Don't, you're on the clock! What the fuck are you doing out here? It's literally the same guy. Anyway. Um... Really what happened was, 
and they now live in a small house. As you can see, Final Fantasy galore. Oh, that's called navigation gummy? No. This room will be our secret base. It's nice and snug here. No way. Don't you have to go see Sid? Uh, yeah, he's right here. You guys ever hear of Maleficent from the Disney movie? Nope. Well, I hear she's in town. Who is she? A witch, man. She's a witch. She's the reason this town is full of Heartless. Don't take her lightly. She's been using the Heartless for years. We lost her world thanks to her. One day, a swarm of Heartless took over our world. That was nine years ago. A guy on that master came here with these guys. That's awful! I can't do him. Our ruler was a wise man named Ansem. He dedicated his life to studying the Heartless. His report should tell us how to get rid of the Heartless. Where's this report? We don't know. It got scattered when our world was destroyed. I'm sure Maleficent's got most of the pages. You see, it's just as I told you. What? While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend, he quite simply replaced you with some new companions. What? Evidently, now he values them far more than he does you. Where the Final Fantasy guys out? You're better off without that wretched boy. Wretched? Now think no more of him and come with me. I will fucking kill you. Find what you're searching for. <laughs> you know, uh, real quick, fun fact about that scene. Uh, when 1.5 was actually first like announced, and they like uh, they, they like posted like screenshots, that cutscene with Maleficent leaning into Riku, like looking at his face when he's like when you have like he has like that low poly face. In the screenshot, he actually had a higher poly face. So that was literally a um, a, a form of false advertising because in the game he still has the low poly face, but in the in the screenshot he didn't. So it's 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 literally just yeah, just straight up low like false advertising. And also, what the fuck, Riku? We literally like Sora was literally like, hey, you should come with us. And then now nah, you apparently uh, he's trying to replace you with some friends. Makes no sense. So you deliver that book. The navigation gummies is installed and ready to go. You find another one, you bring it to me. I threw in a warp gun for the heck of it. Oh, I guess that's not what that was. Now you can jump the world you've been to before. Well, better get back to my real job. What's my real job? Y'all see. See me at the first district. I've been thinking about the bell in the second district. That one that rang a bit ago? I don't know. <laughs> the one above the gizmo shop. There's a legend about it, you know? But it's all boarded up. Nobody can get in there. Heck, go check it out. Ring it three times to see if anything happens. So that's the reason why I didn't want to, like, ring it earlier. Because something's going to happen if we ring it three times. Bam, 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 bam. So yeah, we're gonna go back there. We can straight up leave, I think. I'm pretty sure you can like just straight up leave this world and just go about your day. Um But I should explain some is that a chest? I don't know why I thought that was a chest. I don't know what the frick I was looking at. I should explain something though. Uh there is I'm gonna customize this too real quick. I wish you could have more magic. Like you can't map anything to circle i just realized that you can't do that in this game really limited to just three why um what was i gonna explain again i don't know let's just bring this bell before i go crazy all right now let's ring this bell three times it sounds it doesn't even sound like a bell though that's not ominous at all. Ooh. And we one last time.
That's the keyhole. Awesome. And this is going to be pretty easy because all we got to do is go down there and just go get it. So no more Heartless in this world. Oh, fucking never mind. We got to fight this guy once again because I said so, okay? Because I don't know. Fuck off. Uh, but just like I said, it's it's like the first time. Yeah, and because I know a little bit more about Tekken, this might be a little bit more easier than for me last than, than last time. Oh, actually, never mind. Haha, <laughs> I lied. I totally didn't forget that there was another phase. Uh oh, he decides to invert himself. What? This makes all the difference. And reveal his face. So different. So sweet. Damn. <laughs> anyway, it, it kind of still applies, though. Damn, how did I get hit by that? The same kind of rules apply. You kind of do want to go for the, the same limbs as you did before. Uh, and parry when you can. Like that. I didn't even know that was happening. Yeah, here we go. Woo! So close. But too bad for you, though. Let me get that other hand. I just love bashing shit like that. Because I've always had like a hard time with this game. It's really satisfying to like come back to this sometimes and just beat the ever living shit out of things. Like, I'm sorry, I don't really get that much satisfaction from dying over and over again, like in other games and stuff like that. Like in other RPGs, like it's hard as shit. Like, oh my god, like this is like the some people might say like, oh yeah, that makes the experience or whatever. I'm just like, no. Oh, in I just realized. In the case of this boss fight, um, the feet, it's like health was like swapped with the hands. I was like wondering why, why it had so much health, and why this had so little. Yeah, makes a lot of sense, I guess. All right, now we're down to literally just his body. And Charlie and Goofy are alive and totally not fucking it up right now. I mean, like, we're, we're not doing anything to this thing, I swear. God, getting cure is so satisfying, though. I don't know if I can parry that. I, I haven't tried. Donald's dead, though. Of course. And we just got more items. <laughs> the tech boost. Jesus Christ, it was easy as hell. Kind of forgettable, too, because every time I come back to the Death... Uh, not Death Islands. Uh, every time I come back to this world, it's like... I'm always thinking, like... Oh, we're getting Arrow? Well, that's cool. I think it's one of the most lamest magic abilities, personally, though. But so other people would definitely... Uh, argue with me there. I, I don't really like Arrow, personally. But in this game, it's pretty cool. But with that being said, we just locked the keyhole for this world. Isn't that swell? And we got another Navi G piece, I guess? I don't know. So, uh, Sis's real job is actually kind of weird because he kind of just stands here. I don't know what he actually does. Hey, now that was quick. I guess it kind of was. Now you know, I'm in the gummy block business. Working on your gummy ship sure was great. Come again, I'll give you a big discount. Comma G. Go ahead, take it. It's a special giveaway. I don't know what this is. What? It, okay, well, does it tell you? What it does, let's see, does it tell you? Oh, 
Huh, I guess we can actually customize our gummy ship. Hibuki Cam, I love this name. <laughs> and you guys should know why. But, it's just some decorative stuff. A laser. Actually, we should add the laser. Yeah, I'm not going to get too creative with this. Just, just going to be completely real. How do you go up again? Oh. Yeah. Uh. Oh, uh, just gonna place that there. Ghetto style. What? What the fuck? I don't know what just happened. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I don't think we actually have the the thingy thing uh, that allows us to do the thing. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. No, that we can't do that. Okay. Uh, I think I already have that. Ooh, let's, let's just, this is going to be the most ghetto gobby ship ever. <laughs> but I think at one point I will probably go back and like actually customize it like off screen or whatever to make it actually look cool. Uh, cause to be honest with you, I'm not really good with like, wait, what? I'm not really good with stuff like this. Alright, so, um, I did a lot. <laughs> uh, I definitely did a lot. Uh, so, this is how the, <laughs> this is how the Ibuki Cam looks now. Yeah, so, this is how Ibuki Cam looks now, and, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy looking, but again, I'm, I will refine it. Just, I don't know, I think it looks cool. Anyway. We were here forever. You guys don't even know. Uh, I think before I actually go, I'm going to end off this episode. Yeah, for the next episode, we're going to finally go to like new territories. We're actually going to finally uh, go to other worlds and stuff like that. It's been a while, so yeah. So with that being said, I'm going to end off this episode. Thank you guys for watching this. Uh, as always, if you guys like this video, like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And also, all my social medias will all be in the description down below. But with that being said, guys, thank y'all for watching this episode of Kingdom Hearts 1. See you guys next time. Thank y'all for watching. Have a good night, everyone, watching this. And as always, hasta.